Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is it's Brother Clarence coming to you this morning. Uh, uh, I like to say good morning to all my Facebook friends and and my brothers and sisters in the Lord. And I pray uh, that uh, this message will will help make it a little clearer than the one I had yesterday. The same verse. We're going to look at Second uh, Corinthians chapter five, verse three. Second part, we're going to look at it this morning for just a few minutes. Uh, and, uh, and, 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 and interval of time, an interval of time, maybe the title of this message, I like to call it that anyway, we'll, we'll look at it. It says, if so be that being clothed, uh, we shall not be found naked. Praise God. That, that, I tell you, it's a powerful verse of Scripture. There's so much in it. it all these verses, it's just so full, I can't get it all. And, and I pray to God I don't confuse nobody, but the, I, I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can. Uh, the Bible is not uh, being rightly interpreted uh, when it is uh, claimed to teach either a progatory or purification or an... Uh, uh, unconscious state somewhere, which claims that that when the when the Christian dies, his soul and spirit sleeps in the grave until the resurrection. Such as not taught in the Bible. I don't know where they get that from. Uh, I wish if, if if you believe that way, I wish you'd text me the scriptures and show me where you get that from. I can't find it in the Word of God. Uh, it just doesn't teach that. Uh, at death, we, we do uh, not cease to be. In fact, our bodies are only a tent or temple uh, for the uh, real person or the soul and the spirit. The body and the person are as, as, as a building and, and uh, occupied... Uh, is a building occupied. It's occupied. Uh, moves out. The occupants move out of the building. Uh, the soul and the spirit. Uh, uh, they move out. And uh, Paul is giving us a, a, a contrast between our old and our new habitation. He is telling us the difference between our, our body of corruption and our body of glory. He calls our body a, a tabernacle. Uh, this tent body is the one uh, in which uh, we are making our pilgrimage uh, from earth to heaven. Uh, someday, someday it will be taken down and laid away uh, and covered up. At that time it is uh, to be dissolved or loosened it will be loosened from its present form and shape, and will be, and will return to the elements uh, from which it sprang at the creation. Dust uh, uh, in in its place will we will we will have a, not a tent uh, but a building. Uh, the tent was temporary. The building will be eternal. Uh, the tent uh, will be left on earth, uh, the building, uh, the, the glorified body, a building of God, will be uh, eternal. Uh, like we said, uh, 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 it, it will be eternal. It will be a building of God. And uh, the tent is left here on earth. Uh, the building will, will inhabit, the, uh, we will inhabit in heaven. Uh, the tent uh, passes through uh, uh, destruction, uh, which, which reduces it to uh, its original chemical state or, or common soil. The, uh, the building uh, possesses uh, the, the qualities of Christ as a resurrection, which, it, which are incorruptible and immortal. And so it lasts forever. It'll never grow old and never get tired. <laughs> and we'll get that building. That'd be our final uh, 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 habitation. That'd be the body that, that God intended for us to have in the beginning. Hallelujah. But there's a stage uh, between 
between the, 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 the death of a Christian and the glorified body. There's a, there's a space in between there, uh, but, but we still exist, and, and we are known as we're known. Uh, I believe, I, and this is as my theory, uh, I don't know, you know, uh, uh, we all have theories at times, but this is just my theory. I believe that we're clothed with, with light as, as, uh, as Adam and Eve was before the fall, maybe. Uh, but I know we're in a glorified state, but we just don't have the glorified body. Hallelujah. But we will get it. We will get it very soon and very soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We will get it and get it very soon. Uh, glory be to God. Of necessity, there must be an uh, 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 interval of time between our departure from our dissolving earthly body and our in, 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 inhabited of the eternal heavenly body. During this time, uh, or, or this interval, between death and the resurrection, we are in conscience uh, existence, although we are not yet in our resurrected body. However, we are not floating around on a, on, on a cloud out in space or something, playing a violin or something like that. No, that ain't what we're doing. I wouldn't think so. I believe God has some stuff for us to do up there. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, some individuals think that way, but that, that, I mean, we're not like that. We don't be floating around like an individual spirit without a, 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 a capability of speech or, or action. Neither are we asleep. Or, or unconscious in a temporary uh, state. Actually, we are to be very much alive and very near to Christ in soul and spirit from, from a, a, a form, rather. It, 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 for the scripture says that we have uh, stated uh, from to, 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 to be absent from the body it means to be present with the Lord. So uh, we, we, we're not just up there floating around uh, sleep under a cloud, on a cloud or something. <laughs> oh, you see some of the strangest things people people come up with sometimes, I'll tell you what. Man, I think one time, one time the guy was laying up on a pillar on a cloud, floating around. Oh, Lord. No, I don't think it's going to be quite like that, my friend. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Uh, to, to specify the matter, we, we, to simplify the matter, we can put it this way. While death uh, uh, disbodies us, it does not immediately uh, embody us. In other words, uh, uh, our house, house, uh, uh, it, the house we're going to have is not made by hands. Hallelujah. The death, they can't do nothing with that one. That's going to be, we ain't going to have no, 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 uh, splemishes or anything in that body. It's going to be free of all those things. Uh, this house, uh, uh, not made, uh, with hands is not another temporary body. And for the, that reason, it is called eternal. It is our final habitation, but it will not come to realization until the rapture and the resurrection. Hallelujah. The new desire we have, as Paul mentions in verse, verse 2 here, uh, uh, is not the desire for death which uh, dissolves uh, uh, and, uh, or unclothes the spirit that would be unnatural. Uh, the Christian is looking, looking beyond death for the time when he will be clothed uh, with his new body. Uh, death death as a, a, a natural process is not the hope of the Christian. For death disbodies and, 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 and it dissolves the body. Uh, it is the resurrection and the rapture. Both are the same, 
which the new desire longs for uh, because the rapture or the resurrection and the rapture will bring us this, this building which is a house not made with hands. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. When the Trump, we, had, we went through that the other, yesterday, uh, we read those scriptures to you. Uh, you know, when, when, when the Trump sounds, uh, uh, when, the, when the, it said, Paul said there, uh, uh, for we, if, if we believe it, uh, that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in, G in Jesus will God bring with him. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean soul sleep. It, when, it, when it's talking about sleep, it means absent from the earth. Well, it's not, they're not present here in the earth. I know the earthly things, but they, they are present with the Lord. And uh, that, it, that's what it's talking about. They're not in their earthly body no more. They're, they're out of it. So their earthly body is asleep. Oh, well, there ain't no soul, there ain't no spirit in it. And it's, it's dead. It goes back to the dust of the earth. But it says here that, that uh, for we believe that Jesus died and rose again, uh, even so them also which sleep in Jesus, will God bring with them. Uh, for, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain, uh, unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Oh, he's bringing them back with him. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet, trump of God. And, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Uh, then we which are alive and remain shall be called up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. He said, comfort one another with these words. And they are a comfort. Uh, I pray that I got, you got something out of this here uh, verse of Scripture. We'll look at it. Uh, we'll look at verse. Uh, I think we're going to look tomorrow. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, we'll be looking at at uh, let's see. I'm thinking uh, that we'll be looking maybe at verse uh, verse three tomorrow or verse four rather, verse four I think. But anyway, I pray that you have a blessed blessed day and uh, uh, look unto Jesus to alter and finish your faith. And, and, and we ought to be rejoicing because we got a brand new building. A building uh, uh, eternal in the heavens awaiting on us. The, the, when the rapture takes place, uh, if, if, if we go by the way of the grave, we'll be, we'll be with the Lord and, and, and uh, be at the bite, be with the Lord. And when the Lord returns, He'll bring us back with Him and we'll take on our glorified body. Hallelujah. Praise God. I can't wait till that day. I get excited thinking about these things. Uh, but anyway, you have a blessed, blessed day. Remember tonight, 8 o'clock, help me pray. Uh, we need to pray for this nation, pray for revival, pray for our president and our leaders and our police officers' safety and our military safety and our firefighters' safety and, and all that's in authority tonight. We need to pray for them and, and uh, uh, give God a couple minutes of your time tonight, 8 o'clock. God bless you. I'll see you in the morning. If I don't see you in the morning, I hope and pray some glad morning I'll see you in heaven. You have a blessed day now and meditate on these things we talked about. Hallelujah.